machine, I think 100% of quality and performance. The first is the service. Through the collabor collaboration with the China Geology University, we help our client to conduct a detailed ge geological analysis to their projects, soil condition. Based on the analysis result, we are able to propose to our client the most uh, suitable jacking machine design. We can also provide to our client the professional advice on troubleshooting during the jacking operation. Here are some pictures of our after-sales service. We are serving clients all over the world. The fifth is training. In order to rise up the professional of the pub jacking industry, Tangxin invested and built a training center. We are providing comprehensive training to the whole so society. The training program includes geology study on pub jacking, machinery M&E study, and uh, machine operation and maintenance study, all run training in theory, method, and uh, operation. More than 80 operators have uh, graduated and uh, serving the clients. Uh, above reported is our sincere sharing of experience, which that would, be, which that would uh, benefit you in future projects. Thanks for hearing. Mr. Tang, please stay on the stage. Okay. I would like to thank Mr. Tang uh, for his nice presentation. We have again 10 minutes for questions and answers. So the first question comes here. Thank you. Uh, my name is Mohammed Al Hajjat uh, from uh, Desert Diamond. We are a contractor doing micro tunnel in different uh, countries in the world. We are trying now for uh, some projects in Jordan. Yeah. And uh, in fact, uh, we found uh, obstructions regarding the existing services, which is not uh, mentioned sometimes in the drawings. So uh, in case there is an existing service in the ground and uh, we do know about it as a uh, contractor to doing micro tunnel, this will cause the damage and sometimes if we cross a uh, rising main or a sewer line or a potable water line, it will be a disaster. Now, my question for you and in fact for the other supplier here in Connect also, what is the possibility to add a device in the head of this machine exactly uh, behind the rollers? the head cutters, like a cable detector in the normal situation. We have a cable detector for the services uh, below the roads. So if the micro turning machine uh, being uh, adjusted to have something like a device to show the existing services, in fact, this will support us a lot. In Jordan, there is a lot of existing services not showing in the drawings. This is really make the things Difficult, and uh, thanks a lot. I understand you ask uh, during the uh, machine working if there is any utility which the contractor is not aware. So, what could be developed uh, to? Uh, find the utility before damaging. So do you have any solution or any uh, equipment for this problem? Yes, is this your question? I may help you. I may help you. But before, uh, we should ask uh, the other suppliers because they have much more expertise. Let me uh, start with uh, Mr. Sheta and then, yeah. uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rabia, sorry. Yeah. So, but uh, I kindly ask you to keep as short as possible. Yeah, sure. Um, I understand your question and also understand how difficult it is if you cannot 
see this before you already broken a line or even towards a main line yeah um, I'm not sure if it's uh, possible to do this in the machine itself because yeah it's uh, I think it's a place question in the machine it depends on the diameter but it should have been done before the machine is underground so maybe you should ask this for the people who make they're doing the survey, the geology survey. There is much. There must be something that they already, I don't know, satellites or whatever. They just check what's there in the underground. So maybe okay. you can add. For my Thank you. And now, Mr. Rabia. Uh, as I'm more contractor like you, background. So the best thing that for this is the open face or partially open face micro talent, which is. Uh, you can at least in, in anticipate what's coming by visual only. But to put sensors behind the cutter head, it's metallic cutter head, and sensor cannot read over metallic, another metallic or even electric uh, sensors, you know. So the best for this is another way what we're going to uh, present after this is pilot tube, which is multi-cases, and you can stop and you can reverse your process. Or you go for uh, partial open face or full open face pipe jacking, which is more conventional, but now it's more controlled and more advanced and more safe. Thank you. I would like to make a contribution. Of course, I'm not having expertise as suppliers, but uh, in Turkey, in Turkish Society for Trenches Technology, we have a professor working on uh, GPRs, uh, ground penetrating radars, and in one of uh, microtonic projects uh, con uh, um, completed in Turkey, in the city of Adana, I heard that they uh, applied um, mini GPRs or radar something on uh, in in front of the machine. So they detected not only the utilities, also some gaps. So, but I don't have any details, but I can share his contact information with you. Maybe you can get some, you know, <laughs> details from him. Okay. Any other questions for Mr. Tank? Okay. So I would like to invite Mr. Rabia Ruziek from Terran, Terranau Technology Company, Kuwait. And before he starts his presentation, I would like to briefly mention about his biography. He was born in 1976 in Egypt, a shareholder and the general manager of the company. His experience is after graduating the University of Zagazek in Egypt, he studied postgraduate courses at uh, Strathclyde University in UK, uh, then a master's degree in construction management. Uh, he began his career in HDD industry, and then uh, he started Terranaut as a marketing and sales manager in 2005, which is a sister company of Ames International Kuwait. And then in Terana Technology, they built, uh, they executed mega projects for the oil and gas sector. Terana is a capable of executing full turnkey solutions, HTT, microtoning, and guided boring. And they also represent Ackerman, the US uh, manufacturer in the Middle East and African region. Yeah. Thank you for your representation. Uh, today we have a different concept in drilling, which is uh, some more HDD uh, contractors or background w will be close to our this business. Uh, let me introduce Ackerman. Ackerman is a, a USA factory for trenchless solution. They have micro tunneling, they have pipe jacking, and we have bio tube systems. So, <clears throat> uh, 
BioTube is a, a new uh, technology that uh, you can start installing small diameters, which is a challenge for micro tunneling from 100 mm up to 48 uh, inch, which were 1200 mm, and uh, with extreme accurate, which is required for sanitary and uh, gravity lines. And let me introduce you about what criteria for the projects you can apply this methodology. Regarding pipe diameters, as I said, I mentioned, you can start from four inch up to 48 inch. It depends on, on your product. So it's versatile in, in, and another advantage of this, of this system, it can do multi diameter with one system. You don't have to uh, change the jacking frames and all these power backs and all. The footprint for the project is very small. We can start from three and a half meter shaft and we can drive in another shaft. And uh, so will be minimized project disruption. The drive lens, uh, because this technology depends on visual guiding system, which is done through the pilot, which is double, double wall uh, pipe, and it's like three inch gap. So the maximum we can go up to 1400 uh, foot, 125 to 150 meter is done. The ground conditions uh, mostly will be uh, in, with displaceable uh, ground where you can burst the pilot inside the, uh, in the ground and it, it can take it. Or if you have harder ground, it should be homogeneous. So there is advantages and there is limits for this methodology. For pipes, it can, we can use uh, many pipes, uh, clay pipes, reinforced concrete, fiberglass, and form plastics, GRB, uh, uh, steel, or any pipe can be used as far as it takes the jacking uh, force. To go for uh, guided boring applications or bio tube micro tunneling, as some people call it. There is different applications. Uh, there is three bus method, which is the common one, and this is what we have full range of equipment available. Again, you can combine it with conventional ogre boring. Before, ogre boring is not guided, but with uh, joining this system with an ogre boring machine, you can do guided ogre boring. You can di directly install steel casing pipes after this system. So you can do pilot tube rock drilling. And also, we can join it with pipe ramming method by joining guided system. So it will be guided by ramming. Again, we can install, uh, install and pull back in, uh, like uh, cables, like HDD the same way. And last, guided by roofing. Let me tour you out about the con components of the system, which, of course, we have power bags, and it varies as well as the capacity required. Oh, sorry. Link it. <coughs> ah, it came back. Thank you. So we have power backs, which provide the system with uh, hydraulics and controls, and 
ogres and kissing. Bauer, Bauer cut our heads uh, when we install the final product pipes. Bauer dreaming heads, master casing pushing for converting from pilot to uh, ogre boring systems, and swivels, uh, lubricating system, and uh, other toolings. Let's start with a guided boring uh, three, three bus method and we will go one by one through the process. As you can see, it's conventional jacking frame, but it starts with a pilot head. It can be steered. Oh, thank you. So you start with a jacking frame and we start with a pilot head, drilling head, very, very close to HDD drilling head, which is angle. So, and inside the drilling head, there is a illuminated lead target. And this bio tube is double wall. One, uh, the inner wall is for the visual guiding system, which you can see this picture over the guiding system. And the passage between the double wall is for lubrication, for the head and for drain. The system is equipped with a, dish, a digital camera fixed to a satellite system, which fix it in the shaft, and it will be aiming at the target or straight shot what we want. This can be adjusted for grade and level, and through the illuminated target, you can know where you're going. So this is one, one of the benefits. You can uh, do a short, short crossing, where is a lot of, a lot of utility, and it's uh, accurate, so you don't hit because there is no deviation. The second process is to enlarge. We finish that drilling head, so we will remove it out and we keep, we will put the reamen cutter head to follow that. This reamen cutter head is powered by ogre system through the jacking frame. And as you see here, it will be like a swivel to keep this stationary. And this one will carry the cutter, uh, the cuttings and the soils back to the sand shaft, and then this will be elevated outside in a bucket. Third, uh, method, uh, third uh, process is, let me come back here. If, if, the, if, the, if the size is small, I mean from uh, four inch or uh, I mean 12 inch, 16 inch, you can immediately install the pipe after this and you're done. So it can be short to two stages. But if you have bigger pipes, so you need to uh, go for the third stage, which is you have a power cutter, uh, power cutter uh, head powered by hydraulics through the machine and the power bag. And in this case, you have the ogres in the place, and the ogre system will carry the cuttings to the receive shaft. And in this way, you can uh, upsize from 16 inch casing up to 48 inch cutter head. And after the cutter head, you can start jacking your final products uh, immediately after the cutter head. Another way to do it without power cutter head, when the ground is soft.